And the second question? Yeah, the second one I have to say I really welcome that Australia is embarking in this discussion. What confuses me is that Australia is also as a nation partner or participant in the international framework for nuclear energy cooperation. And I just can't piece it together how this Royal Commission is sitting in that context. So I wonder whether you can clarify that. Are you... So that, that framework sets out that Australia, with the other partner nations in it, is also looking at issues of bias and reprocessing and, and all of that. So I just wonder how your, uh, how, how this work of the Commission is going to inform or guide Australia's future participation in that framework. I wouldn't be that presumptuous to suggest that I'm going to guide the Australian framework. But I, I think your point is, is well taken in terms of understanding the responsibilities for the safe work frameworks that are established. That is a national responsibility. We are working with the federal government and the agencies in the federal government to advise us about the processes that they have in, the, in undertaking those safety and regulatory regimes. So we are very mindful of the fact that whatever we do will need to be approved by the federal government and also um, mindful of the fact that we'll need to go to the IAEA and understand the, the, the international, the global network and how we participate in that. So one of our visits will be to Vienna for a day to understand uh, exactly how that's going to work. Uh, and then make recommendations, but I have to say they are recommendations to the federal government and then we need to manage that double hurdle of the state government and also the support of the federal government because it won't happen without that support. Even should we decide to go down that 